Okay, here's the bike. It's a 1974 Suzuki T500 Titan. Some stuff I have to do with it is uh, whenever I put the lights on, there's a light that comes on behind the speedometer and you know it illuminates right in there but it's still not bright enough to see at night so I'm gonna have to probably put an LED like right in here or something coming into the speed and tech. Uh it's missing left handlebar mirror, I'm gonna have to get that replaced. Uh, it's got to seat the seats uh, pretty damaged. I'm going to have to have it reupholstered. The carburetors, I'm working on cleaning them right now. Uh, this plate right here is just covering the oil pump. I've done that just to make sure that the oil pump wasn't leaking. Uh, all this oil that's on it right now, there's actually a leak at the bottom of the crankcase. I'm not sure whether or not you can see that. But I got that fixed foot pegs in real bad shape I'm gonna have to get them replaced brakes I'm gonna have to go inside the hook because these are older model brake uh, older model brake uh, shoes that are actually inside the hose wheel itself I'm gonna have to go in there and fix them because the front brake as you can see it barely moves and the back brake far too weak. The chrome on this bike, it's in pretty decent shape for being 30 years old, or 30, going on 35 years old. You know, I'm happy with it. I'm not really complaining about it too much. I may have it re-chromed at a later date, but for right now, it's fine. Uh, the rear fender is showing a whole lot of rust in here. I'll polish that right there so you can see it. No, you know, it's got a lot of rust on it, but it's still shining pretty good, so that, all that's going to be covered with the seat, so I'm not really worried about that. The, the tail light, I got one that's completely broken off, and one that's just missing a faceplate. And actually, whenever I put the left blinker on, the right blinker comes on, so these two wires across, so I'm just going to have to switch them, even though they're color coded the same. Uh, the shocks, I'm probably going to go ahead and clean them up a little bit, try to get them looking better off. I think they're good. You know, it's real stiff, but it does its job. The tires, completely cracked and dry rotted, so I'm going to put new tires on it. The chain guard, it's got a little dent right there. And a little buckle right here, but that's about it, so I'm not really worried about it. The chain itself, it's got a fairly decent amount of rust on it, so I'm probably going to end up replacing the chain too. Uh, let's see what else. The breather box goes right here. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get a set of aftermarket breathers and put them right here under the battery box just to kind of you know, not have this big old silver box sitting right here. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do that or not, but I'm thinking really hard about it. The kickstart, you can see right here, yeah, I can't get that in the frame, but it came off of a Honda. So, I'm going to have to get that fixed with a regular kickstart because let's see if I can show you whenever I'm sitting on the bike the kickstart goes right up against my foot so it's always in the way uh, uh, got a new set of plugs in it yesterday or day before the Ignition coil, it looks pretty good. I don't think that's the reason it's not firing. But I went ahead and had to check it out. And, um, well, there. And whenever I did, I actually had to 
drill this bolt out because it was seized in there. The other two came out with a little bit of work, but I actually had to drill that one out, so that's not going to be hard to fix. The tank, as you can see, it's got a lot of cosmetic blemishes right there. And right here, the tank's going to be sanded down and repainted and bondoed. The inside of the tank, it's got a good bit of rust in it. I'm going to go ahead and get that fixed. Uh, the front fender. As you can see, it don't look too bad. You know, that's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like now. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. The handlebars. Uh, they look like somebody just took an angle grinder to them right here. But that's really just cosmetic work. I'm probably going to hold off on that for a good long while until I get the thing running like I want it to. Uh... What else? What else? What else? What else? All the lights, I'm going to actually take out the bulbs that are in it, then I'm going to go with some LED bulbs. Now, just give it a little bit brighter uh, lights, and I think that'll be better for it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, yeah, the paint. The paint, I'm going to actually sand down and prime back over after I get all the dents fixed in it in the tank in it and the uh, oil tank and then I'm gonna uh, probably spray it black base coat and then a candy apple purple uh, top coat and the frame I'm probably gonna just shoot another coat of black on it just to keep it you know, kind of looking decent in case I ever want to repaint it again. The uh, fuel lines and such, I'm going to actually get some uh, clear purple fuel line hoses and put on it so that, you know, because it had like basically something like this, just some black lines. And I'm going to put some clear purple in there that'll kind of contrast the candy apple purple that it's going to be on the tank and everything. So, yeah, we got a lot of work to do to it, but I'm going to get it done because I don't start a project I don't intend to finish, and I'm going to try to keep y'all up to date on everything I do to it because, you know, i got to have something to do, you know, so it's going to be a project that y'all are going to be a part of with me. So let's see what we can do with it.